Hey, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I mod these little E27 lights. Um, it's really kind of simple, just a little bit of soldering. <clears throat> I had to get a couple of LEDs in the in the colors that I wanted. So, uh, but but what we'll be doing today is um, we're going to need some tweezers. We need some super glue. Obviously, one of your LED lights, cheap little E27. And the LEDs that I've chose for this would be the um, warm white. This one says is a 3000 to 3500K. The royal blue in 440 to 450. Blue, which is the, uh, oh sorry, this is a UV, 405 to 410. And now the blue. What is that 460 to 470 okay so I'm not gonna end up using this reflector that it comes with I'd rather have better color color blending than uh, than penetration since I'm using these on these tiny little pico tanks but in order to make a um, in order to make a splash guard, you could just trace this onto plexiglass, cut it out with a jigsaw, reuse the ring to hold that down. But you're going to want to take a look at the inside of here. The boards usually are marked once you get the uh, LEDs off with your positive and negative sides. But also these LEDs, if you look kind of close, I don't know if you can get it on here not going to uh, not going to focus for me GoPro thanks but anyway um, the negative side of the LED has like a little notch cut out of it so you can remember that and uh, obviously you got you get the freebies right here with the red and the white um, but go ahead and take note you know negative positive positive negative negative positive positive negative negative positive but you'll see on the board once you get those off that, that it is it's there I'm gonna rip all these warm whites off because well I'm I'm only gonna use one and I'd, I'd prefer to use the ones from the same manufacturer it's up to you guys whether you want to keep the one warm white on there but I'm gonna end up doing the UV in the middle a warm white royal blue royal blue and then the, the regular blue here so i'll just go ahead and get started obviously you're going to need a soldering iron for this i like to pre-tin the well i guess you wouldn't even call it pre-tin i like to put some solder on the on the tip to help me distribute heat when i'm working in here And sometimes I just use this to hold that board down. We'll be super gluing it later. But I get the heat going on there and then I kind of use the tip to pry it up. Can be a real pain. I'm using that lead, lead-free solder.
probably could have switched tips too. I've been using this fine point on all my drone builds, but a thicker a thicker point tip would probably help. I think I'm gonna add more solder. Sometimes you end up having to add a little bit of solder to mix with their stuff and help you get the heat that you need to get the removal done. There we go. Okay, so we got them off and I'll probably just take a picture, but you can kind of see there's a plus and a minus plus. All right, so I'm back. Uh, memory card was full, so I had to go delete some stuff, but that's cool. Anyway, so um, the power lead came off. Just had to resolder that on. You missed that, but it wasn't anything special. So now that all that stuff's off, I'm gonna go ahead and super glue this down because I'm kind of tired of it moving around. And you're gonna want to make sure that those wires are tucked down in there. Because you want this to make contact with the heat sink. Alright, so while that glue is drying, I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to pre tin the LEDs. It'll just make things a lot easier. And I'm going to lay them with the bags I take them out of just so that I can keep track of them. I'm going to start with the UV so I can just put it right in the center. Now, this is showing, I see a, a plus there. So, that one's got to be the minus. I don't really like that solder. So UV, there's a notched side facing downwards, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, should be good. So that notched side is your negative. So. Some of these, I ordered eight of them. Some of them had paste underneath, like a thermal paste underneath the LEDs. Um, this one didn't. I can't find mine, so I'm building this one without it. But usually I throw a little dab of thermal paste underneath each one of these as well. But we, I just make sure that as I'm as I'm soldering this, I'm pushing this down. It's 
so I get some connection to the so I'll transfer the heat to that PCB okay so the UV is done now we just pick which uh, you know white blue and then two royal blues sounds good I'll hit the royal blues Plug it into this uh, lamp right here. We'll te test it. Awesome. <laughs> 